Hello my Virgos, Guiding Halo here, hope you're all doing well. This is what's coming in for us, month of May, money, finance, career. Let's find out what's going on. What's happening? Queen of Pentacles. Thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Well, there's your energy all day long. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. King of Pentacles. So your true match comes along. Look at that. Balance between masculine and feminine. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down, get things done. Oh, this isn't the king. This is the knight. My bad. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So it's time to step into your power, get things done. Really, I'm getting speaking the truth about how it is you want to create here in the 3D world. Okay? And letting others know that you've got to be loyal, dedicated, and honorable with your intentions. So we have the three of pentacles. Showing someone how to do something. You could be pitching an idea and someone's taking notes. You could be speaking on stage and someone's taking notes based on what you're saying. You could be asked to speak on stage. We have Eight of Cups walking away from something, walking away from some sort of illusion or time of turmoil that you've been in. Confusion. Walking away from the confusion is what I'm going to call it and say. It'd be nice if I didn't have to drop cards all over the place. <laughs> I feel like there's an ending coming. You get to walk away from the illusion of something, and it's not always easy. Endings aren't easy. But you do get to walk away from something here. Seven of Wands, feeling defensive, feeling the need to defend your the way you make money, what you do for a living, feeling the need to defend life, defend your life on your terms protecting what you've created this could be if you have children you're protecting that it could be protecting something in work that is your your life's work your baby your home your family whatever it is ten of swords there's that ending i sensed it coming there's a new day dawning for you my friend a new day dawning something that you thought you were going to work together on is not working that way it's almost like there's no there's no option that is a good option here, you feel. So you're going to walk away from something. Defending your decision to walk away ends up putting an end to the mental uh, situation you've been in. Swords are about your thoughts, and they've been totally controlling a circumstance, it seems. You're ending the cycle there. Page of Swords, there's some challenging communication coming in. So I think you're going to put your effort towards money, focusing on it. You may have been on guard for quite some time with somebody. There's a lack of trust, I want to say, and I feel as though you've been watching very carefully and very closely. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but we have the energy of healing and balance being brought here. It's like there's been some sort of mental back and forth the back and forth of somebody there could be challenging information coming in where a Sagittarius is concerned something about someone's health doing what it takes to bring the situation around wow there's going to be great happiness come out of it that's beautiful great happiness the sun card balance being brought back to the circumstance something you've waited for you could have communication coming in from a younger person that really helps change your viewpoint. Great happiness. You could also be dealing with a Leo. But great warmth and happiness, a time for growth, seeing someone's uh, life grow in a new way. Something There's some sort of healing that brings about a great happiness. You're in hanged man mode about how it is you should move forward what it is you should do waiting 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 there's been some sort of waiting for this happiness to come about and this warmth and this joy 
asking the divine for clarity, even though it's a happy situation, asking the divine for clarity, it's like you've been in hangman mode about it forever. This might be like a temporary scenario where you step into it. The Page of Cups, the resurgence of love, new love coming in, new job opportunity, someone coming in to say something that makes you emotional. That's what this here is. This Page of Cups grounding the energy. It's communication that would bless any soul. That makes you happy beyond words. Happy beyond words. Communication that would bless any soul. If you've been concerned about someone's health, that's going to improve been fighting there's been a fight that you've thought about walking away from something where you've been it's a third been maybe a third party situation concerning money you've been in defense of it that cycle is going to end you're no longer going to have to feel defensive page of pentacles good news about money coming in someone may ask you to go for coffee with them uh you could be teaching somebody about entrepreneurship could be Virgo. Well, it's Virgo energy. Ugh, the cards just won't stay in my hands. It's like anything you try and put your hand to or your mind to, it just all comes falling out. It's because the divine's got a plan here. It's got the divine's got a plan, and they're gonna use you how they're gonna use you. This is like a, this is something that's been set in your destiny and set in stone. I feel. Tell me about this left side of the chart yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectations so think positively have positive expectations and good will come out of it caution is warranted on this side of things Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. There's something that you're hesitant about, and it's for a good reason. So trust your intuition here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Let's clarify. Page of Pentacles. Let's clarify. It's the ending. There's good news coming in about money that creates an ending to the mental frustration you've been in. Well, that's awesome. Gotta love them apples. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. Something here is karmic. There's an opportunity coming to you that's uh, karma. Something good is coming because of karma. We have caution is warranted. Someone might be coming in to make an offer or some sort of offer that makes you emotional, but be very cautious where that's concerned. There could be third party interference into creating your hopes and dreams. We have two threes here. Tell me about this page of swords and the temperance card. Feeling like you need to defend what you've protected. Using your intuition will bring you immense happiness, warmth, and joy. Stand in it. Be powerful. In hangman mode about how to move forward in entrepreneurial energy. Which way to go. There's some sort of illusion around third party interference or walking away. So, but you will be walking away from that illusion. Perhaps deciding to go it alone and defending your need to do so. Stepping into some financial security nonetheless. Stepping into an entrepreneurial ship lifestyle could be enjoying the little things nonetheless. It's about having the amount of money you need to enjoy what you need to enjoy. Sitting pretty financially. Ten of Swords. We're looking at the Empress and ending over the frustration that you've had. Could be around a mother figure or taking control of things in your own life. The Page of Cups is about a partnership. The Divine bringing two together. Perhaps it's the need to decide between two. But there's communication coming in that would bless any soul. It'll make you happy. It'll make you feel great. It's something that will bring you joy emotionally. I'm going to tell you what. It's going to surprise you. You very well may be signing on the dotted line. Whatever that means to you. This is the energy to embody over the month. The Dreamer. Your dreams have chosen you. Find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny. This is the magic of life. I'm going to pull two more angel cards. One more for the right side. One more for the right side, please. Angel card. One more for the right side. You are protected. Or It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching, you, watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. I feel like you feel like something isn't matching up to the dreams you have for yourself. Is it somewhere that you wanna to move to or somewhere you wanna live or someone you wanna be with or where you wanna be? 
and the dreamer in you is calling you forward. It's like your dreams have chosen you. You have a dream, you don't know why, you want it a certain way. Time out, you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Well, that's beautiful energy to be in. And you have a special bond with animals. There's definitely a need to get grounded here this month, my Virgo friends. Let's pull one more of these. Cycles. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. So the divine's asking you to trust the end of a cycle. Trust it. Move forward with faith. Oh, why is there so much trepidation? I feel like there's so much trepidation in the energy here. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. This is the king of wands. It's about entrepreneurship. It's about should I follow a certain way and give up a dream? Or should I be the fiery energy that I am and move forward with my dreams? We have absolute perfect energy coming in to balance it out. We have a king and a queen of wands. Someone stepping up into their power, but there's fear surrounding money, employment, all of that sort of thing. The divine's got to end the cycle and bring you into a new one in order to help bring your dreams to fruition. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. Blessings to you.